Hey, hello, Brandon. Paul McLean here, Crestview RV, Buda, Texas. Thank you so much for your time. Let's see if we can narrow the field here. I'll send you two videos. This one of the more expensive of the two. This is that Grand Design 2022 247BH. Uh, now you can see the 165 watt solar panel that's already wired in and has your inverter downstairs for running your refrigerator on top of your lights, awning, and radio. 18 year warranty on this roof we talked about. They both have the uh, digital WineGuard Air 360 antenna, so that'll be good for local TV stations and whatnot. I know he's gonna be out in the middle of nowhere, so maybe a uh, Starlink satellite dish might help him stream some stuff. Great big awning here. We'll go downstairs and look at that as well. R40 insulation factor on this roof, so truly a four season camper. Even has an attic vent just like a house, so cold weather winter camping, the condensation is not an issue. Uh, just really good quality, so I thought I'd show you the roof first. I'm gonna put you in my pocket real quick and we'll jump downstairs and look at the rest. And I thought about doing both uh, on one video, but that'd be too long of a video, so let's quickly look at this one. And then if I don't have time to take a video of that Jayco, I have one already taken for another client. I'll send you that one. And you just kind of ignore the names on it. So, ladder to the roof on this one and a fully walkable roof. That's a difference. The other difference is this hard wall with the R9 insulation factor. They'll both come with a spare tire. They both come with the electric awning here. Um, both have a place for an outside television. Steps are a little bit different. You pointed that out. The pass-through is about the same size. However, this one, flag holder, took me two years, Brendan, to figure out what that was. It's a flag holder. I don't fly a lot of flags, so <laughs> it didn't make sense to me. Um, but here's your control center. Notice the motion center light, light came on just as we walked up. That's kind of neat. And there's your uh, solar coming in, battery cut off and that is the inverter that runs your refrigerator, which happens to be on on this one. We'll fill up your propane tanks for you, of course. And both come with the screen door, which is pretty handy. Grand Design has a little bit different window system where that's a big window that opens up 50%. The one on the opposite side does the same, so in addition to the screen door here, you've got a great breeze no matter what. Let's turn some lights on here. And a little bit more counter space on this one. Metal undermounted sink. Lots of 110 and USB everywhere you need them. Digital thermostat, just like a house. A little bit more storage. Well, actually quite a bit more storage in this one than the other one. Foot cubby, grand design, any place they can find a place to put a drawer. Even under, way down by the refrigerator. More storage. And out in the middle of the parking lot here, this is on and iced up, so that's kind of neat. Both have a little microwave, three burner range, and oven. This jackknifes, as we showed you, it just flips forward. In fact, I can do that real quick, one-handed. So that could be a sleeping area. That could be a sleeping area. This one comes with the television, and it's a smart TV, so you can stream from the very beginning Netflix, Apple TV, what have you. 110 and USB, as I mentioned, just about everywhere. If he gets tired of the checkerboard, this is reversible. And again, the big uh, windows here that open up for him. Even storage above, the little couch here. And then a lot more storage underneath here. And then you've got your bunk beds that each have their 110 USB and a big window for each. In the bathroom, instead of a tub, it's a shower. Probably more convenient for him. Porcelain toilet, not plastic. Lots of towel storage here. A couple octopi, octopus hooks. And then you've got light switch, just like a house. This is gonna be so much different for him. He's gonna love it this one or the other one. And then another difference here on this one is it's got the more private bedroom. 
with a full queen bed, meaning 60 inches by 80 inches. So a different mattress, sheets, fitted sheets are going to fit just fine on this one. Doesn't have that little blue accent light that the Jayco does, but LED strips are pretty cheap. Has a place for a TV in the bedroom should you want one. And then 110 and USB on each side here. And then certainly more closet space than he has currently on each side here. And then storage underneath the bed as well. So that's the slightly more expensive Grand Design Transcend 247BH. And I'll try to get, uh, I'll either take a separate video of that Jayco or I'll send you one that I've taken for a previous client just so you have it before we close here. So thanks again so much. Hey, let's go camping.